Belton's Yard by Samuel Laycock At number one in Belton's Yard, me granny keeps a school, but hasn't money scholars yet, who's only one or two. The seventh old woman's rather cross, well, well, it may be so. I know who boxed me rarely once, and pooed me ears and all. At number two lives widow Burns, who washes clothes for folk. Their belly, that's a son, gets jobs at wheeling coke. They son who courts with salmon ads that lives at number three. It may be so, I can't tell, it matters now to me. At number three, reek facing pump, Ned Grimshaw keeps a shop. He's Eccles cakes and gingerbread and treagle beer and pop. He sells oak cakes and all does Ned. He has both soft and hard, and everybody buys off him that lives in Belton's yard. At number four, Jack Blunderick lives. He goes to mill and waves. And then at weekend, when he's time, he pows a bit and shaves. He's badly off, his Jack, poor lad. He's rather lame, they send, and his children keep him down a bit. I think they are nine or ten. At number five, I live myself. We old Susanna Grimes, but don't her like so very well. Who turns me out sometimes? And when I'm in, there's net no leak. I have to count it dark. I cannot pay me lodging brass, because I'm out of work. At number six, next door to us, and close on the side at Spout, old Susie Collins sells small drink, but whose welly all is bout. But how it is, that is the case, I'm sure I cannot tell. Who happen makes it very sweet, and sups it all herself. At number seven, there's nobody lives. They left it yesterday. The bum bailiffs come and mark their things and took em all away. They took em in a donkey cart. I know not where they went. I reckon they'd been taken and sold because they owed some rent. At number eight, they're Yorkshire folk. There's only the man and wife. I think I ne'er see nicer folk nor these in all me life. You'll never hear em fawing out like lots of married folk. They always seems good tempered like and ready we a joke. At number nine, thou cobbler lives, thou chap at men's my shoon. He's getting very weak and done, he'll have to leave us soon. He reads his Bible every day and sings just like a lark. He says he's practising for heaven, he's well he done his work. At number ten, James Bowton lives. He's the noisiest house in row. He's always plenty of summer tea and lots of brass and all. And when he rides and walks about, he's dressed up very fine, but he isn't half as near to heaven as him at number nine. At number eleven, me uncle lives. I call him Uncle Tom. He goes to concerts up and down and plays a kettle drum. In bands of music and such things, he seems to tack a pride, and always makes as big a noise as all in place beside. At number twelve, at Thendert Row, Joe Stiggin deals in ale. He's sixpenny and fourpenny, dark coloured, and he's pale. But I never touch it, for I know it's ruin money a bard. I'm the only chap as doesn't drink that lives in Belton's yard. I know I've done, I'll say goodbye, I'll leave you for a while. I know I haven't told me tale in such a first-rate style, but if you're pleased, I'm satisfied, and ask for no reward for telling who me neighbours are that lives in Belton's yard.